Okay, Nixie's also going to be there, by the way, but we have to return to the game. Yes, we have to go to the game. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> Alright, now we have having a Mega Man and Bayo matchup. Hmm. I'm not very, I'm not very familiar with this matchup. Mm, um, yeah, definitely not the most common characters. Mm -hmm. uh, though it seems Bayo is on the rise lately, you know. Yeah. Lima is doing really well. I, I'm kind of, I kind of like see Bayo again. I'll be honest, but um, she's very fun to watch. Just all her combos and her movement, her her, her animations, just very entertaining to watch. But let's not forget King Arc, of course. Mega Man, Mega Man has a bunch of to tools in Arsenal. You can already tell. Uh, already took 76% off of the Jazzy, 92. Yeah. With those projectiles of fish, which I think is going to come in really big handy against uh, Bayonetta. Yeah, we already see King Arc. He knows how Bayonetta gets mm -hmm. openings with like either jumps, like after burning kicks, either in the air or on the ground, mm -hmm. and just uh, up bees in general. So because of that, he's playing super sh shield oriented because Bayonetta doesn't have grab combos. And we saw him just kind of stay in shield with Metal Blade. And if you're in shield with Metal Blade, you have such fast out of shield. And look at that. The, he knows clearly how to SDI is the combos. SDI and actually punishes Jazzy for going for that afterburn kick. And you see Jazzy trying to even it out a little bit. Trying to take it back to neutral. However, Mega Man is just... I keep calling him Mega Man, but like King Arc is... Being very, very, very good with his shielding, making sure he's not getting that uh, Bayonetta up B, an up B, <laughs> up smash. Yeah, good read right there from Jazzy, mm -hmm. but not the strong hit. This is where Bayonetta can't, I was gonna say, where Bayonetta can close out stocks a lot is the ledge, because you yeah. always have the mix up of either jabbing and killing with jab or forward throw. So when you're at these high percents, it's really scary to be on the ground versus Bayo. But then if you jump, you get like Bear, so. Tough stuff, but once again, when you have a lead as Mega Man, what does Bayonetta really do about these pellets? You kind of cover the air and the ground, as you saw right there. Yeah, that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. I think that Bayonetta is in a really big disadvantage against uh, Mega Man, just because Mega Man has so many projectiles against her. And even though now they're both at two stocks, like, Jazzy is still at such a disadvantage. Yeah, that being said, mm -hmm. Jazzy's combo game has been good. Yes. The, they haven't gotten, like, too many hits yet, but um, when they do, it's, like, really easy for... Um, it's really easy for them to get a lot of percent. And wow, look at that. 67. Now it's almost even. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> always speaking. And then something happens. And you see King Arky is using... Um, oh my God, I'm, 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 it's like the name of me, the, his metal... Metal Blade? Yes, Metal Blade. <laughs> He's using Metal Blade in order to kind of distract his opponent and go right in for... Like, distract, distract him and go in for whatever he's trying to do. And it's been working very well against uh, Jazzy. Good roll, really. Good read. Oh, but they have to be careful because <laughs> King Arg is just punishing them for trying to get off ledge and trying to take him down. Thank you. Let's see if Jazzy can close it with this ledge situation. Cause that could be huge. Ooh, mm -hmm. good Oof. aggressive approach. Mm -hmm. It's a constant barrage of just being hit by all these different projectiles from um, from King Arc. Now Bayonetta, as light as she is, she could die right here with the rage Mega Man has pretty easily. Like mm -hmm. Jazzy now has to think about just staying alive and still being down to stock. Oh, uh, yep. That that, that was really good. That was that's like one of like the things about Bayonetta's um, combo like recovery is that she goes straight. So. If someone just knows that, they could easily do what King Arc just did and just spike them right back down and, t and finish out the stock. This is so good. Cool. <laughs> it's like so engraved in my memory. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, I feel like I could hear it and we'll just like. It'll... It's like elevator music. Yeah. It's kind of like just background music. I love it. But... Right there, that was such a good up tilt from King Arc, like walking Jazzy off the platform, knowing how much lag Bayonetta will mm -hmm. have, and then getting the up tilt punch with it. Really smart stuff. And yeah, that um, normally it's kind of can be tough to contest Bayonetta's recovery, but look at that. That uh, that down air is so good. Yeah. You know, it's a projectile, so it really you don't care about Bayonetta's hitboxes at all. Oh my goodness. Using the Metal Blade just. Using all of the projectiles, Metal Blade, uh, and then just go using Metal Blade and going into some combo heavy like uh, grab combos, just it's, it's killing Jazzy. Ooh, 
Uh, and yeah, Jazzy's combos have been the saving grace, despite, like, you know, being really tough to get around King Arc. When they do get in, it's so strong, the combo game. Mm -hmm. Oh. I was not expecting that. Yeah, that that's a little cheeky. I think it's just to give uh to like stall your ledge invincibility time yeah. because you're stuck up there. I always see Mega Man's go for the side beat when they're on the angel platform, but I've never seen a Mega Man do that. Interesting yeah, stuff. We were both just like, whoa, what just, yeah, <laughs> what just happened? That was, that's very I've never odd. Seen that, but I like it, it's really clever. It worked. Close up the stock. Ooh. Ooh. And now oh see, I was gonna he say do it again. Jumpless, Bayonetta becomes a lot more predictable, and that almost loses a stock, a two stock lead for King Arc. You guys be a little more careful trying to recover from off the ledge. Uh, that's gonna end the yeah, stock. Yeah, that is one of the main things Mega Man's are gonna look for when they're holding Metal Blade and Shield. You really like it is so scary because. Uh, item drop is really fast, so that just becomes such a quick outer shield option to get you killed. Finally, the jab gonna take it, but this is a full stock deficit, and considering how defensive King Ark's been playing, this could be really bad. And aggressively. He's just being, he's just not letting Jazzy breathe for even a moment. The instant Metal Blade comes out, you can pretty much expect the Hobie right there, following it and going into a combo. only 8% on King Arc. It's just like such a wall that you put up and it's re I really don't know exactly what Bayonetta can do about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I just don't think she can really enter. Like, Bayo is just simply not able to... Because Mega Man has all his projectiles, it can easily keep her at bay, and her projectiles only go so far. Yeah, definitely seems like a tough matchup. It's such a, it's such a tough matchup for Bayonetta. Because Mega Man has... <gasps> Oh, oh, that good almost tech. was oh, very oh my gosh. clean. That was a good tech. I was, I was ready. Yeah, I think uh, Witch Time or Bats Within saved Jazzy's life right there. But regardless, King Arc seems to be playing on fire right now. Let's see if Jazzy can get a good combo here at this ledge situation. But it seems like King Arc's gone away, like gone back from ledge almost every time. He oh. is. I will tell you this. King Arc is amazing. At coming back from the ledge while being while like attempting to be edge guarded. Yeah. Yeah. Like and it Jazzy really did at least three two or three different ways to edge guard um King Arc. And King Arc every single time has something different planned. One he came up and just Oh my goodness. And just completely reversed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he knows all of Mega Man's tools so well. Like knows the um knows obviously the how to use the up B, knows how to use the leaf shield too. And because of that, it's so hard to predict where whether he's gonna be defensive, whether he's gonna come back aggressively, it's it's super tricky. Yeah, I don't think there's anything.